Now then, I'm just taking this brief opportunity, a break in the weather, there's no wind and the sun is not burning down but it's going to be raining soon. So we're just going to do a quick battery case repair video. Right, let's crack on. Now then, we're talking lead acid batteries here and we're talking damage to the cases and uh, previously I have repaired the plastic cases on lead acid batteries whether they've had a split on the top or damage down the bottom. Now damage on the bottom is normally abrasion in a battery tray or something like that and it will start off with a little weep and you can fix that reasonably easily damage the top normally a bit of violence but as long as the battery itself is all right you can repair it the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to assume that there's some damage this side so the first thing I'm going to do is add a bit of plastic in there so that I can ah yes uh, empty this cell because there are three cells so we'll block those two off this battery although it holds voltage I know it came out of a uh, an electric car with lead acid batteries and although it holds voltage it won't provide the current you put a drop tester on this and this is a 6 volt battery 220 amp hours uh, the voltage drops down to about 3 volts with a drop tester so it just won't provide the current so now I'm going to empty this one but first of all what we can do is do some battery abuse and that is just above the electrolyte level okay And just to show you what's going on, let's put the top back on. It is actually a hole. I'm not going to do it down here because uh, there's no need to, but it's the same principle. But I'm going to tip the electrolyte out. Having sealed those and I've got my plastic apron on, I'm going to tip this electrolyte into a bucket. And why am I tipping that out? Because if the hole was a bit further down and it was still leaking you want the, the liquid out of the way so you can a get the surface of the joint clean and dry and b so that the heat doesn't wick away in the liquid right <coughs> so you can see now why it's important to have your rubber or plastic apron on and preferably wellies so the next thing to do is we need to warm all that hot lot up and I've also got my hot glue gun warming up and the new glue stick has just fallen out. Right, so I'll just wipe this. I don't want any muck on there or anything like that. Now because we've removed the electrolyte from there and we've sealed those up, we can tip that battery on the angle so it's easier to, to get to that area there. Not slightly, something slightly different than that.
That's better. Okay. What we want to do is we need to warm this area up so that it's dry but also so the plastic is warm. When it's warm, I mean warm, fairly warm, so you wouldn't want to just hold your hands on like that, but before it starts melting, yeah, then the hot glue will stick to it, whereas if it's cold, then the hot glue just solidifies as it touches the surface. So we've got the hot glue, the hot air gun here. Yeah, that's pretty warm. And if you notice, well you probably can't, but I shall zoom in in a moment. The hairy bits from where I put that saw through this plastic are all melting. So let me just zoom in now. And I'll move the camera. So let's just apply some hot glue to there. There we go. Right. Then we'll just let that spread out and cool slightly. And then I'll come back and we'll probably add some more. Let's just... There we go. So we're not doing too bad. And the hot glue has not yet gone opaque. So another application will stick to it. You don't want it to go solid quickly and because I've got the the other bits of plastic on these covers they're not leaking which is great so all we want to do now is to let that cool gently the plastics warm you can see it's not going opaque Let's just, there we go, can we still see, we can still see, I'm just going to roll it, no it's not bad, there we go, I might put a little bit more on there, you can see it's just starting to cool a bit but the heat is very important let's just stick a bit more on there and let that flow out a bit So there you go. I'm just going to show you some um, other batteries that I've done this to previously and then we'll come back to this. And just here in the battery shed, here's one of my spare cells. And there we go. Died a bit of damage on the top. And uh, it's been successfully repaired. And there's a tricky one to show you, but I'll try. It's on the slave battery. And just down there on the bottom of this slave battery, 
just there you can see the corner of this battery was damaged came from the scrapyard it's a 12 volt deep cycle quality battery and I got it home because I thought it was all right and I noticed a wet area on the corner and the occasional drip so um, I did the same thing emptied the electrolyte out of that cell heated it up applied the hot glue and that must have been six years ago and you can see that uh, on that piece of block of timber that it sat on there's no wetness there so it's not leaked and of course this slave battery is charged up off the main pack through a light bulb and then it provides a stable 12 and a half 13 volts power supply to various bits of the control on this wind and solar system so it's not a power supply that will just burn out and everything packs up it's a power supply with its own backup anyway let's get back to that other battery now so there we go that's gone hard now so what I'm going to do now is stick the battery back up fill it right to the top and show you that it doesn't leak so if you have say a leak off the top plate of your battery you now know how to fix it and I did have a question about this on one of my battery videos a while ago yeah and you know it just takes a while to get round to um, sorting things out and uh, doing the video in you know, editing and all that sort of thing right because this battery is scrap I'll just fill it up with water oh, I want a bit more Fill it right to the top. Right. You'll want to see that it's right to the top, won't you? Lifting the camera. There we go. It's full. So theoretically, If that was to leak, it would leak now. And it's not. And I'll come back in half an hour. I'll leave everything in situ and show you that it's, uh, it's not leaking. Here we go, and coming sidewards. It's nothing. I'll just move the camera around. I'll just pan round, zoom out a bit, and then move round whilst kicking the tripod. So there you go. I want you to be very confident that this has not leaked at all and going down to the bottom of the case no signs you see there otherwise there'd be a drizzle down that wouldn't there so there you go that's another way to increase your self-reliance and reduce your financial slavery. Yeah, if that battery is leaking, then you can repair it. Please comment, because apparently comment means activity on the, um, 
on the YouTube algorithms so comment and like and all that nonsense but I, I really enjoy your comments anyway so comment whatever you have got to say you know if it's rude it just gets deleted but otherwise you know and ask questions but heat the battery heat the case and to be able to heat the case you've got to remove the electrolyte from that area now if the um, if if the, the damage is right at the top you could probably get away without removing the electrolyte and if it's in one corner right at the top then put the plastic through the underneath the plug screw it on tight and then tip the battery to one side wipe it all down heat it up glue it up and if it's around various areas then do one side at a time um, hopefully you found that really interesting um, catch up with you soon cheers for now